hello everybody welcome to my channel before starting my video if you didn't subscribe my channel please do and do not forget to turn on notifications as always i'm going to share great contents with you all right in this lesson as promised i'm going to start to create a small application as an example for you all right let's change our branch to the development and let's right click on solution add new project it's going to be console application youtube.csharp.application um, demo all right let's click next create all right okay uh i'm going to create an application which is going to be for um automatic correct calculation for a, a teacher or a person who is working in the school all right uh let's start typing commands i'm going to start typing with a welcoming message and i'm going to use this while line as a text editor at sign dollar sign and double double code and let's enter here and we can start from here perfect welcome to mr amazing calculator let's put a separator here and please choose following options please, cho please choose yeah following options is okay following options the first is going to be all right let's pick a map this word okay let's make an answer here okay first one is going to be calculate great wait the second one is um expense calculator I'm gonna change this one is great calculator okay perfect is there anything should I add more um, no I think it will be okay and type here let's have a look how it's going to look like that's set as a startup project and see what kind of visual is going to be shown to us okay welcome to the amazing calculator select please choose following options okay now following is please choose one of options one of following options following options all right um let's make it let's put them into the middle all right let's add more separator perfect okay let's add now i'm going to use console right which is normally when i use the console right line when you finish the code the next code start with the next line but if i choose the right my next command will be continue next to console write command okay i'm gonna show you what, what is that exactly let's type here selection and for example yes let's type now 
as you can see we have selection and selection next to each other but if I use the right line here the second command will be start beginning of the next line as you can see yeah so I'm going to use right because I want the selection uh, is shown next to selection text okay now I need a user answer okay I am going to assign a selection variable with a console read line which is coming from the user okay perfect so what if why we have a green line underneath of our command let's have a look our tooltip we we might have an exception when we use this command line io exception out of memory exception argument out of range exception so if you would like to know what they are you can you can search on the internet and you can prevent these errors okay the next one line clicks on input steam or null if no more lines available okay so um, let's see now what's gonna happen let's start our application yes as expected it is asking us to make a selection I can do I can select the second one or select the first one all right let's continue now after we did the selection we need um, to create we need to build um, logic here okay I'm going to use a switch case here now so I want to use I want to switch my selection according to result of my um, entry right so if case is one so do something okay and break if case two do something and break is there any default yep obviously we need to use a default console what line there is an error okay if I select instead of uh, where is my if I type or do a selection instead of one or two I'm going to get an error message let's have a look now if I do something different there is an error as you can see okay perfect now let's build case one a great calculator let's delete this let's take some space all right um, let's think about it after we enter the great calculator we can say a welcoming screen again let's type a console right line again at dollars and double code okay, let's start from here um great let's say all capital great calculator calculator for students okay let's add a separator here is there anything should I add no it's going to be okay I guess let me have a look okay then the second one I need exam results let's assign some string first exam result 
actually before that we can ask the name of the student right yeah student name console read line okay then I'm going to ask the student name right yeah let's ask the student name also write student name okay and we enter the student name now here then we go to ask the exam examination results let's type here first let's type exam 1 exam first second and third let's type here second and third all right we got the student name and exam let's try now and let's see when we what's gonna happen when we select one i select one Grid cal calculator for students, student name. Yep, let's type Hassan. Exam first, 25. Exam second, 95. Exam third, 35. Alright. As you can see, it is working till this area. Let's continue. Anything else sh should I do or can I do? We got exam results and we need to calculate the ex average yeah let's now um, use a short is going to be enough for us because the examination exam results is going to be between 0 and 100 short average did it average result now we need to parse those integers int parse student you know exam first yep but this is int, we need to make it short. But I'm gonna do a calculation, so it's going to be automatically converted to integer. So I'm gonna make it integer, not to make things more confused for us. Let's continue. What is the exam first? Maybe null here. Okay. If it's going to be null, in any, is there an exception? Argument null exception. Okay. If I didn't enter any exam result here, if it's going to be null, so it's going to throw an exception. But we're not going to catch the exception. We're not going to um, error handling. We're not going to do those in this lessons. Once we learned how can we handle our exception, we're going to go back this project and amend everything and finalize once we finished everything in the C-sharp um, lessons, guys. Okay, let's continue. S exam second and exam third. So we need to divide three, all of them, to make a calculation. Is everything all right? Perfect. So we got an average result right now. All right, perfect. Anything else should I do? Let's type our console with right line and let's type average result. But before that, let's create a meaningful message here. The average 
of 3x is average result. Let's have a look now how it looks like. Let's select one suit name, just random 25, 36, 95. The average of three exam is 52. Okay, um, we can add separator maybe. Let's put a add sign here, put it down. Let's add some separator and see how it's going to be look like. This is the average of free exam is 25. Okay, it seems it seems nice, but I'm going to use dot instead of section, and I'm going to bring it to the upside. Let's have a look now. So let's select one. The average free exam is 38. Let's put a little bit more dot here. Okay, perfect. Then we need to calculate uh, is the student pass or fail from his or her class. Okay, let's try to build our if logic. If, if average result bigger than 100. What does that mean? It means obviously the, the teacher made a mistake, right? Let's type here. Teacher made a mistake. Okay. So, if average result not bigger than 100 it means it's less than 100 so let's try to find out what the grade has been taken by the student if average result smaller than 100 which is have to it have to be small than 100 but small and equal to 100 and average result bigger than and equal 85 console right line to grade is uh, what can I say perfect pass perfect pass all right let's put it to this line All right, let's continue if, if average result um, less than 85 and average result bigger and equal 70. Cross the right line, great is pass okay let's continue with the lower grade if average result less than 70 and average result bigger than equal 55 Great is pass, but you need this, but student must uh, must study harder. Okay, let's continue with the.
average result no not that much sorry there is no bracket in bracket average re average result now smaller than 55 less than 50 and average result bigger than equal 45 grade is con pass with the condition pass with the condition let's add a condition here student must have um, perfect pass next year okay and what if it's smaller than 45 which is going to be fail right okay but before that I am going to check should I check the other conditions mm, let me think a little bit okay let's think okay let's continue if the average result equal one it means I'm going to add a special um, assignment here so what's gonna happen the teacher if if there is no name is if the name is forgotten by the teacher or the, by the student to, the, to their um, examination paper so automatically they're going to get a one point and it means student forgot his or her name I'm just trying to add specification features to our application you can change according to your own willing okay let's continue student for got to write his or her name okay so how are we going to assign average result one let's have a look now is there any chance to make it okay let's come here I'm going to uh at a condition here if student name equal no is student name dot is not this one as well string dot is null or empty student name yeah this method is uh, how can I say this method checks the variable if it's empty or null and also I would like to check I'm going to use or the student name equal string dot is null or empty no not that one sorry string was the white space yeah? is null or white space okay let's delete it I'm going to check is null or white space student name student name okay if there is a just space or if it's null is if it's empty it's going to be detected by this if block and our average result will be assigned as a one perfect all right let's put our average result here with um, minus one 
and let's delete it. Okay, I'm going to explain what I've done now. Normally, I try to use this section. Let's try to use this one. Okay, results. And I'm going to use else here. Why I'm going to use else, by the way. Should I use else? Let me think a little bit about it. If there is no name, we don't need to enter any examination results because the student already forgot to type his or her name. So the, the notes is not it's not irrelevant because every result is signed by one directly. So we can put all the other codes to the else section to continue. Yep, have a look. Let's cut them all. All right. So average result is going to be one. And is if average result is hmm, is it going to work? Okay, I'm going to put this bracket out of our logic because it must be finished here. Okay. There is two type of average result we have. The first one is if there is no name, it's automatically assigned by one. The second one is if there is a name, the examination results going to be entered and be calculated by the application and it will be assigned to the outs outside of our logic. Why I'm doing like this, by the way. The thing is, if I would like to change the average results, I have to assign it, I have to create it outside of the if logic. Then I will able to change the um, data value. Okay, perfect. Let's continue then. If average result is one, the student, it means student forgot to write his or her name. Okay, let's try to, to this application and see is there any problem or not? First, I'm going to um, give an empty result for the student name. As you can see, the average of three exam is one. The student forgot to write his or her name. Actually, I don't want I don't want this section to be seen. How can I change it? Let's have a look. Okay. Let's take this work at the, here. It's much better, I guess. Perfect. Let's see again. Because I want the examination, average exa average examination result if there is an, a name, a student name. So let's do it again. There is an error. We can, okay, this is a selection. It's my fault. Let's do the selection first. And student name is empty. Student forgot to write his or her name. Okay. If I do a, if I add a name, so let's see what's gonna happen. It's a random name. Exam one. As you can see, average of free exam is forty-two. But we don't have any message here. Let's see. This is. 42 for where is the 42 here okay we didn't assign lower 45 that's why we don't have anything we have average result one but after this if average result less than 45 and average result bigger than one it means console what line failed okay rate is failed what if if it's smaller than zero if Average result 
is there any meaning? Probably no. It means it it means just there is an error. There is an error. Because it cannot be um below zero. Okay. Let's have a look quickly again. Great calculator, student name. Let's just put a space. Student forgot to write his or her name again. Perfect. Let's selection one. Student name. First exam. Third exam. The average exam is too much. Teacher made a mistake. Okay. Try it one more time. Student name. Exam 1, 45, 65, 74. The verge of 3 exam is 61. Grade is passed, but student must study harder. Okay, perfect. It's working. Um, is there anything should we do? Let's have a look now. I'm just checking. Okay, it's working. Let's leave it here. And let's do the case do. Let me see how many minutes have been done. It's 31 minutes. I'm going to finish this example. Then we will continue our other lessons. Um, next step is expense calculator. So what can, what kind of thing can we do? Let me think about it. Expense calculator. So we can define some prices okay let's just imagine this school provide the equipment to their students let's calculate their expenses each student expenses to the school okay perfect integer price of uniform 125 integer price of back where is the one? 35 int price of books 36 int the price right make, make it price <clears throat> price of uh, what kind of equipment a student might be needed uh, let's type pen three int price of erasers one pound okay these are example you can make much more you can add much more equipment I'm gonna it's going to be enough for me okay now let's ask the user how many students going to be continue next year or apply a new as a new student console right line how many students how many is regis registered let's make it not line just console right because I'm going to get the answer next to my text string Um, student numbers console read line read line perfect actually we can cast it to the number directly let's type it to integers and 
let's cast result to the integer. Is it going to work? Let's have a look. Why it's not working? What's the problem? Oh, it's we can't do that. Sorry, guys. I, I need to make a um, parse right int parse. This is my fault. Sorry about that. Because we're trying to convert from string to integer. All right. We got our parse. Actually, we can use a try parse, but as I told before, when it comes to the error handling, we will amend the whole project and we add our new features. Now leave it like that, and I'm just trying to show you how if l l statement uh, it, how they are working actually. Okay, how many how many student is registered? We got the number of the students, and now we need to make a calculation. Let's total integers total cost each student. Okay, let's make a calculation for for each student price of back no let's start with the uniform price of back where is the back yeah price of books price of pen and price of erasers and let's multiply them with the student number perfect so we have a total cost this is not each student it's going to be total cost all right so we can make a total uh, total cost for each student let's assign them total cost for each student and we can cut this section. Now we have a total cost for each student. And we can use this variable here. Okay, we have a total cost in our hands now. So we just need to do present to the user. Let's make a console right line here. And add sign, dollar sign. And double double code. Um, let's put some dots here and total cost to school this year is going to be is going to be total cost and it's going to be a pound must be okay let's have a look now let's start our application let's select the second application how many student is registered 56 total cost to school this year is 11,200 okay I think it's working perfect um, as I told you before the error handlings and the other features will be added once we create completed step by step our lessons I'm gonna finish this lesson here but before that let's commit our changes application Um, example okay application example okay let's commit all perfect let's go to the main 
git manage branches right click merge dev into the main there is no conflict perfect all done yep here we go it's all right it's working okay guys uh, I'm, I'm going to finish this lesson here if you if you like the video i will be really appreciated it really motivates me to create new contents and if you have some questions about my video don't forget to drop comment below the video take care yourself see you on next lesson bye bye mm -hmm.